Well, retirees and seniors who are looking to get out and get involved in their community, now is your chance. The CAC Office on Aging has programs that can help you and can help others. And joining us today is Jared Peer with the Office on Aging to tell us a little bit about this really unique program. This is RSVP, which is Retirees if, Seniors uh, Volunteer Program, correct? Yeah, the okay. Retired and Senior Volunteer Program. It's part of AmeriCorps Seniors, and it is nationwide. Mm -hmm. um, but our local chapter has been here for 41 years and is operated out of CAC's Office on Aging. Okay, so talk to me about how this works. People get yeah. matched, right? Yeah, so it's open to anyone age 55 and up. They generally call us or give us an email. They connect to us through the website, but um, we will talk to them about their interests, their availability, what their skills are, what they want to do, what they want to learn, if they want to learn yeah. new skills. Um, and then we match them with something in the county that needs help. We've got a lot of nonprofit partners as well as Office on Aging programs. So what is the programs that need, which programs need the most help right now? Where are you focusing right. on? Right, yeah, we have lots of programs, lots of variety, but right now um, we've been focusing on uh, volunteer assisted transportation. Those are drivers who get a little bit of training and then they can sign up uh, through our office to take seniors to doctor appointments. You don't think about that, but later in life it's harder to drive. You might yeah. not be able to go do your own appointments, so they help them with necessary errands. Uh, the other right now is mobile meals. Yeah. Uh, people, it's kind of off your radar, but there's a lot of seniors in our area who may be unable to cook for themselves. We use about a hundred volunteers every day wow. to get meals out to them. And so that's a simple one that's just about 10 a.m. to noon. If you can spare just one day, um, they'll take one-time volunteers or volunteers who want to adopt the same route every week. Well, when you interact with these volunteers too, you're helping through this whole process. So talk to me about the feedback they're giving you. Because we were saying earlier, you know, you're helping others, but they're also getting a lot out of this too. Right. Uh, volunteerism has a lot of health benefits. Mm -hmm. um, it's good for people to get out, stay active. It helps with mobility, flexibility. Um, it also has a lot of mental benefits. It reduces stress and it helps people uh, avoid isolation. Uh, one of the coolest things volunteers get out of it is meeting new people. Mm -hmm. um, they meet our staff, they meet clients, they meet other volunteers. And so a lot of them tell me, you know, oh, I, I didn't realize I retired and didn't realize how much I missed being in an office environment. Yeah. Or, or, you know, um, I always wanted to pick up gardening, didn't have time, but now I can help at Beardsley Farm. So some of them are learning new skills and others are keeping their skills alive. Well, for those who are watching and they're interested, where can they go to learn more and to sign up? Great. Um, the CAC's Office on Aging is a great place to go. It's off uh -huh. Western Avenue. We also have a website. Feel free to look up anoxseniors.org. Um, they can always call the Office on Aging to reach our staff, but um, also all eight senior centers in Knox County are partners. And so you can go there, ask some questions, and they can provide an application as well to get started. Okay, sounds good. Jerry, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you it. very much. We appreciate all right. it. We'll be right back.